Hey everybody, welcome to Brain Freeze, where we bring you the latest news and gossip on your favorite celebrities, from the red carpet to their personal lives, we've got it all covered. So sit back, relax, and join us as we take you on a journey into the fascinating world of celebrity culture. Polish up your Besker armor to honor your warrior clan as Disney Plus S Sterling Standard Star Wars show, The Mandalorian, returns for an eight-episode third season starting March 1st. Banished from his legendary cult for taking his helmet off to reveal his identity, this new outing begins with Mando making the effort to find salvation for this unfortunate unmasking by visiting his adoptive world's living waters amid the crumbling ruins per the armorer, Emily Swallow. The last time we saw the gallant Din Djarin, he was jetting across the spaceways with Grogu aka Baby Yoda, and the deadly Darksaber aboard the restored and modded N1 Starfighter towards the planet Mandalore in the season finale of The Book of Boba Fett. Fans who skipped The Book of Boba Fett could feel a little lost when the new season of The Mandalorian begins as pivotal events took place in that spin-off series that reunited Mando and Baby Yoda. Besides binging every episode of Mando and Boba Fett, series creator Jon Favreau has a remedy for this issue. For people who didn't see The Book of Boba Fett, we're gonna have videos that catch people up on it on Disney+. Plus. The Mandalorian showrunner Jon Favreau told Empire and there's plenty of user-generated content on the internet, helping people get up to speed, which is a tool that I use when I watch a show after it's been off the air for a while. It's not just the show, it's the community that surrounds the show. I learned through my experiences with Marvel how sophisticated the audiences are, and they inform one another and are paying close attention. With limited plot details unveiled prior to the premiere, Pedro Pascal will be back at home as the notorious bounty hunter for The Mandalorian Season 3 alongside co-stars Katie Sackhoff as Bo-Katan Cries, Carl Weathers as Grief Karga, Tim Meadows and Christopher Lloyd in unnamed cameos, Nick Nolte as the voice of Quill, Giancarlo Esposito as Moff Gideon, Amy Sedaris as Peli Motto, and Temuera Morrison as the badass Boba Fett. Besides seeing more of Grogu after his training sessions with Luke Skywalker, fans will also learn details about the Mandalorian way of life as introduced in Dave Filoni's The Clone Wars animated series. We know what the history of Mandalore is and the Mandalorians from the stories Dave told with George, Lucas, Favreau added. That planet was a wasteland even before the Purge, because they were fighting and warring and there was civil war for centuries, and they were living in domed cities. And then those cities, that whole planet, got ravaged by the empire that took advantage of their disunity. That, to me, was interesting. The Mandalorian Season 3 kicks off on March 1, 2023 exclusively on Disney+, Plus, directed by Rick Famuyiwa, Rachel Morrison, Lee Isaac Chung, Carl Weathers, Peter Ramsey, and Bryce Dallas Howard. Your support means everything to us, so please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing our content.